For months, experts have been telling us they're worried about the truck driver shortage in the U.S. and the impact it has on our supply chain. It's a big concern this holiday season, and the solution could look a lot like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Our David Coltabiano is joining us live now to explain. Hey, David. Hey, Whitney, good evening. The future is now with self-driving semis cruising around on Valley highways and a lot of people think that this will be the solution to the truck driver shortage that we're seeing across the country. You may have seen these big blue freight liners on the 202 or I-10. They could be a solution to the truck driver shortage that's affecting the supply chain. That's because these Waymo Via trucking units drive themselves for a pilot program in Arizona and Texas. The last year really has put that spotlight on, on the driver shortage. So it's an area where our, our technology can help with it immensely. John Verdon leads business development and partnerships with Waymo Via Trucking. He says their autonomous technology is being used with already existing truck companies who are experiencing that shortage. We're very much focused on automating the long haul highway driving. And that's like the hardest type of trucking job to recruit for and retain for these days. Um, given drivers have to spend days, weeks away from home and their families. The American Trucking Association reports 80,000 openings across the country for drivers, a number that could double by 2030. The attrition rate of drivers in the trucking industry is very, very high. I'm not blaming them. That's the nature of the industry. And the nature of the industry is changing quickly, according to ASU supply chain professor Hydentra Chattaverde, who says sooner than you know it, there won't be a need to have anyone behind the wheel. That's going to happen. Nah, the writing is on the wall. If, we, if anybody who says that it's not going to happen, they're like an ostrich with their head in the sand. Professor Chattaverde says industries always improve with technology. He expects automation to alleviate many of the supply chain problems we see today, including a shortage of truck drivers. In my opinion, it's going to be a great thing. It's going to cut the cost of maintenance by anywhere north of 30 percent. It is going to increase reliability. It is going to uh, increase efficiency. But in the end, consumers are going to win and they are going to win big. Right now, these semis do have people inside the cab while the truck drives itself. But in the coming years, no one will be inside and the first fleet will drive across the southwest. And there is no exact timeline from Waymo Via Trucking on when that autonomous fleet will roll out through the southwest. There is a huge concern with job loss here for this entire industry. But Professor Chattaverde says when you look back at history, anytime there's new technology, there are new jobs, Whitney. Very interesting stuff. Can't wait to see how all of this plays out. Thank you so much, David.